Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Kurt Holst. I am with SAP's Business Analytics Services. And in this video, I will show you how to use SAP Predictive Analysis to data mine on association analysis using data from the unfortunate uh, Titanic accident. So I will demonstrate how to use a so-called association algorithm called Aperori. And it, it is actually based on the language R, so you need to have both R and uh, SAP predictive analysis running on your laptop. And there's actually just a few steps needed to perform this analysis that I will walk through. Short on uh, the Aperori uh, algorithm, uh, it can be used to determine the association between different either transactions or columns. In this example, uh, you can find the data set either by Googling it or just extracting it from your R system. I'll just quickly walk you through it here on Slideware and then I will show you it live afterwards. What I do is uh, simply go into predictive analysis. I select a new data source that I would like to acquire data from. And in my case, I have extracted the data from R, so I have it in, my, in a spreadsheet. It could have been uh, HANA, it could have been universes and, and so forth. I then see my data, uh, just getting a quick glimpse that they seem to be correct. I can see uh, they have a, a number, they have a, what class they were enlisted in, whether they are male or female, uh, whether they are adults or a child, uh, and whether they survived or not. Uh, then I will add a R I priori uh, algorithm on top of my data. I will set the appropriate parameters as seen here, and then I will run my analysis. I will see my rules that it has been generated here, and then I will do the really funny, interesting stuff here. That is to use my sliders to see the, the rules that are of very high interest to me. Okay, so I will go into predictive analysis and show you exactly how I do this. So I have set new document, and it asks me what kind of data sources that I would like to use. I have my Titanic raw data here that I would like to use. I open my data, I see that's exactly as expected. I fetched them all. Here we go. And I go to the predict tab. I simply add my R a priori data algorithm. I set up my algorithm. I tell it that I would like to uh, inform it that it should generate, uh, or my output mode should be rules, yes, and my data are actually in a transaction format. Oops, tabular format, and that's it. And I would like to have these uh, IDs to classify on. Okay, that's it. I right click on my algorithm, and I can either run until here, here it doesn't matter, or I can run the complete analysis, which I do. Perfect. Now I will switch to the result pan. And it has actually already generated some interesting rules for me here, as you can see. And this is quite interesting, and I can see it as it is here. I could also switch to charts, which I will do. And here we see uh, the possibility of adding uh, additional analysis. One of the interesting ones is there's actually three different uh, if factors coming out of a a priori uh, algorithm and its support confidence and lift one of the interesting one is uh, lift which is also called improvement it tells me something about if both my uh, parameters are fulfilled then uh, and i would divide them by the number of basket uh, and then i will express it as a percentage so actually it's also another way of saying whether chance would be as high as uh, as this one. And this is just above chance. One would be uh, if I just uh, tossed the dice and it would give me the same result. So I would like to uh, have a significant on this one. So now we are looking at data here and I can see that a horrific example here that uh, the third class, male, adult, they did not survive that much. So there's definitely a uh, more than chance uh, confidence here 
that tells me something. And so forth. Uh, I can also see the crew. They suffered horrifically here. As you can see, this is a tech cloud. So the bigger the uh, font, size, font size, the more impact it has. If I wanted to go further, I could actually also go into my rules here. I could export them to another tool. I could uh, import them into, for instance, uh, HANA. And then I could make an another application on top of that, running perhaps a uh, real time. So, okay, that was actually it. Thank you for listening.